Hello, it's Anders here on Watch On Channel. Today I'm back with just a very short, fast unboxing. So it's no secret, it's a Seiko. And I'm really actually cutting down on my Seikos. I have sold quite a few Seikos because I just grew a little bit tired of Seiko. Uh, but this watch, when I first saw it, I believe it was released last year, 2017. When I first, first saw this watch, I was completely mesmerized. So I used to own one of the previous versions of this watch, but now they made it in a new version and with the dial color a little more blue and it's absolutely amazing. So quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing my Rolex Submariner. Uh, I'm wearing it this Friday, it's Friday when I'm shooting this video, but I actually been wearing my Rado D-Star 200 for a few days, really enjoyed that, but uh, now I just felt for, for wearing the Rolex. So this video is an unboxing, a first impressions video. I'm doing a full review later on, but I need to just give you my initial impressions and and rest assured that I will be making a full review with all my pluses and minuses with this Seiko watch. So this Seiko watch comes in a very simple white box, outer box and inner box is also white. We got a warranty card and of course we have an instructions manual and here you have the different reference numbers. So let's just jump into the watch and I must say I'm completely mesmerized by this watch. I think it's one of the most beautiful dials I have ever seen. Ta -da! And it is of course the new line of cocktail, Seiko cocktail time watches. So this particular line is actually called the Presage uh, and we have the reference number down here. So we have the reference number here. It's the SRPB41J1. The movement is the 4R35. It's a manual wind hacking movement. It has 23 joules and it's a water resistant watch down to 50 meters, but that does, doesn't really matter because this watch is all about being shiny and dressy and being, yeah, a dress watch, but also a very, very cool everyday watch. and. Well, I only seen videos of this watch. I never saw it in real life, but just see how this dial plays with the light. And if you remember the original cocktail time, it was more of a kind of very light blue gray style with the same pattern, this kind of beautiful, beautiful pattern. But this time they opted for this extreme sunburst dial blue dial. And I must say, I'm absolutely in love with this dial. This watch is all about the dial. The movement is okay. The bracelet, as far as I know, is okay. I need to size it and try it on. The accuracy is so-so. Of course, in my full review, I'm definitely going to do an accuracy test on my time grapher. But the watch is all about the dial. In essence, quite a simple watch. Simple case design, simple polishing. All Every surface here is is polished, so we've got brushing on the bracelet and polished center links. See-through case back to the 4R35 movement with this kind of gold rotor, but in essence this is a very industrial looking, not very sexy, not very beautiful movement. It does its job and maybe they should even just had had uh, put on a, a closed case back here because I don't really think it tells us anything. It's not a, they, they decided to put on a gold rotor, golden metal rotor, but it's, it's not a beautiful movement. This is all about the dial. And another little detail I really like is that they opted for this kind of diamond shaped crown. And I think they really did a good job by supplying a big crown to this watch. It gives the watch some character in my opinion. So as you see, second hand is moving. Now I'm winding it. And we see the second hand moving and it's super, super, super smooth, super buttery smooth. And another very nice detail is the applied Seiko logo. So these, these uh, words, the Seiko logo is applied. Presage Automatic is printed, made in Japan, printed. And then they got this kind of negative 
dial, uh, sorry, date window at three o'clock, which I really think looks super, super cool because it really makes it kind of anonymous. So a white, uh, black numbering on white background would just be too much in your face. But with this one, it's very discreet and you really have to actually look quite, quite closely to see what the date is. And I really like the fact it's a very useful complication and they decided to just make it very anonymous on this watch. So it's time to just try on the watch and, and the bracelet is so big that I can just put it on without opening it. So this is how this 40.5 millimeter diameter watch looks on my wrist. I believe it's around just about 12 millimeters because of, you can see the dome crystal here. It's hard like, it's not sapphire, it's not mineral, it's Seiko's proprietary hard lakes crystal, which is quite scratch resistant, but not as much as sapphire. And this of course also tells a story about the price of this watch. I paid 311 euros, which is just approximately 350 US dollars, shipping included from a Swedish dealer. I don't know if they have any more examples, but have a look at Chrono on Chrono24. I looked at eBay when I was looking for this watch and it, they all cost over 400 to 500 US dollars, but I was very lucky to find it at just around 350 US dollars, 311 euros on Chrono24.com. You just type in the reference and then you can find the watch. So what do you think about this dial? I must say it's, I have tried out out hundreds, hundreds of watches, but this is just, and I'm, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm a bit bored with Seiko, but this just does something for me. Such a beautiful dial. And I will, of course, in the full review, be sure, now it's nighttime here, to have some footage from the sun with natural lighting. Also the bracelet, it looks quite nice. I need to peel off the plastic, but I think this watch on a brown leather strap, it would just look amazing. So this was, this was my initial impressions of the Seiko Presage, the one with the deep blue dial. I will be following this up with a full review. I hope you enjoyed the video of this absolutely amazing Japanese watch from the famous watch manufacturer Seiko. Remember to give me a thumbs up, hit, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video. Leave a comment down, comment down below which one of the new precise cocktail time watches do you prefer the most and what do you think about this watch? Is it 350 US dollars worth of watch I have here? I'm, I'm completely mesmerized. I think the, the play with the light is just amazing. It's a very classy watch and a dress watch in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with the full review and a lot of other content very soon. Bye.